State your name and address for the record, please. Hi, uh, John Quarterman, 6565 Quarterman Road. Uh, speaking of record keeping, let me first thank the staff for providing this copy of the board packet. Uh, lots of interesting stuff in there. I'd like to, uh, for example, the staff preference on the rezoning case about um, water and sewer because of the protected water resources in both wetlands and a drastic groundwater recharge area. Very interesting stuff in here. And anybody who wants to read this, it's on the Lowndes Area Knowledge Exchange website. Uh, just go to Lowndes Area Knowledge Exchange. Uh, I did not put the ULDC on there because the 385 pages of that are already on the county website. Thanks for the copy. But. And I look forward to the new county website where it'd be really easy to put these board packets right on there. Anyway, what I really came to talk about is just to mention, um, <clears throat> I was talking to Commissioner Evans yesterday about this, and I'll send her more information, that um, um, I'm part of a tiny little watershed group called Walls Watershed Coalition. And we recently got, you may have seen it in the newspaper, a grant from Georgia River Network to do an Alapaha River water trail, which basically means maps, brochures, cards explaining here's how you can get on the water in your canoe or kayak, here's what you might see along the way. And this is the kind of thing that's increasingly popular. For example, there's a thing called Paddle Georgia that happens every year where several hundred people come and spend a week on the local river, brings people from all over to see the local community. Um, the, um, could help, you know, attract uh, business to local restaurants and such, and uh, it's the kind of thing that attracts uh, some kinds of businesses. In addition, there is an opportunity for what's called a recreational trail program grant, which is funneled through the state, it's federal funds. The grants go up to $100,000. Um, Without us to Lowndes County Parks and Rec seems interested in probably being the lead organization on this. So this could go, some of that money could go, for example, the boat ramp at Georgia 133, the access roads got a few potholes in it. Perhaps this grant could provide funds to fix that up. That's just an example. And also uh, on that new park, let me thank you once again for the new park that you're doing on the Alapaha River. Um, it would be nice to have a kiosk with information about the water trail. And I don't know if the tiny little grant from Georgia River Network would cover that, but a little money from this recreational trails grant could. It's, uh, um, I don't believe as much of anything the county would have to actually do. It's an 80-20 match, but it can be in kind. So this is potential funds for the county to do things that are already in the comprehensive plan. I'll send more details, and I believe Commissioner Evans said she'd like to see it first, and um, I hope you'll find this interesting and something you'd like to support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Foreman. 